Hi, I've been asked to uh, show how to export Revit views onto AutoCAD uh, to DWG format. Right, uh, the method is straightforward enough. Uh, but there's a few ways to actually decide or put together what views you're going to export. Let me just show you where to do it first. In the file menu, we're going to export. So again, we're not saving as DWG, we're exporting as DWG. So in export, the first option is CAD formats and we click on DWG. Now, the window that opens, uh, we need to address a couple of things. The export setup, I'm going to address first. So, we just click in our box here, and we have a bunch of options that we can either accept as they are, or change uh, in regarding the format we're going to export as, or to. First, layers. Uh, at the AutoCAD layers, you can select from this list whatever you think is appropriate. Uh, maybe ISO uh, standard 13567. I'm going to select that. And yes. Uh, lines, I'll leave as they are. Patterns, I'll leave as they are. Text, same color. I'm going to, in the color tab, I'm going to change to specified in view. This means that it will export uh, the appearance as it appears in your views, in your, in your Revit views. So select that, and then everything else should be fine, except in the general tab, you may want to change the uh, AutoCAD format you're exporting to. So if you're using AutoCAD 2013, 18, etc., uh, I generally export to AutoCAD 2013 because uh, everybody tends to have a compatible version. And OK. Next, we've to decide what we're exporting, okay? So by default, the current view is going to appear, so the 3D view, and that's what we have here, so the current view sheet only. We can select from that list uh, in-session views and sheet sets, and then below in the shown list, we can say all views in set. We haven't actually created a set, we'll come back to that. So views in the model, sheets in the model. So if I select uh, and views and sheets in the model, so it's like views, and that gives me all the views that I've created in my model. Uh, and similarly, sheets the same. These are, I created three sheets. And if you, again, if you do views and sheets, it give you all the whole list. Okay. Now, maybe it's just that you want, maybe it's just you want to do the current view, and that's fine. So open each view that you want to export, and then that's the, that's where you, that's what you do. Uh, I'm going to cancel this though, and I'm going to create a set, okay? A print set. So in file and print, we get the print dialog box open. I'm going to uh, select views and sheets and combine multiple. Uh, actually, that doesn't matter. So select views and sheets and select. And I'm going to uncheck views. And I'm going to say check none, just in case any views are, are, are checked. I'm going to click, select my three sheets that I've created, and I'm going to save that as. Uh, sheets demo, let's say. Okay. Now that set is, is saved. So we have, a, we have a print set called sheets demo. And OK, and we can close out of this. Now if I go back into my export menu, so file, export, CAD formats, DWG, uh, this is already set up. Now we can go to export uh, and sheets demos there. OK, sheets demo. And that has my three sheets that I've selected in that print set ready to go. I click Next. And now we just need to find a folder to save it in. I'll save it there for now. And the the name. So you have an option for a long name or a short name. The long name takes the name of your uh, Revit file. And then we'll add the, the sheet name to it. And if you want to select short name, uh, it'll just print the name of the sheet. Okay. So I'm going to go long name. And I'm going to stay and export views on sheets as things as external references. Uh, no, uncheck that and OK. Now, in our documents folder, our, sheet, our uh, AutoCAD files have been created, three separate files. Now, I didn't have anything on those sheets, by the way, but I'll open one just to show you anyway. OK. 
Okay. While that's getting ready. Okay, here it is. Okay. So that's my AutoCAD file that I exported. Okay, it's just the sheet. Now, if I was to go to a plan view, let's say, and I just want to export this view, as I showed you before, file, uh, export, CAD formats, DWG. And I'm going to select uh, where it has sheets demo. I'm going to go back into current view sheet only. Okay. And next, same process. I'll just leave the name there and okay. Now in my folder, uh, which one was it? This guy here. There's our view. So it's exported everything, the, the image and the dimensions, the grids, the walls, which you can't quite see. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just grab that sheet, uh, that image and delete it. There you can see. Well, that's how you do it. Give it a try and if it works out for you, give me a thumbs up and let me know and good luck with it.